You ready? I'm ready. Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. This Wednesday we wanted to make a video update because we haven't talked to you all in a while. Um, we also wanted to take the opportunity to remind you that we are discontinuing our Kickstarter newsletter. So if you want to stay up to date with what we're working on and our updates to the firmware and the machine, uh, here is the link below to sign up for our weekly newsletter. This year we didn't make it to open source, uh, but luckily Forms member AZA B2C was able to go and take a Maslow um, in his really cool Cybertruck. Uh, last Wednesday night, he and I were able to throw together a frame that's portable using two ladders, which actually came out really well. Uh, we were also able to use uh, C clamps for the anchor points, which also worked surprisingly well. Uh, so he was able to take that down there, so there was a Maslow at open source. Um, he got to meet some really cool YouTubers, and uh, we just want to encourage you to check out his YouTube page. I'll put a link to that in the description as well um, for some of his awesome projects. So huge shout out to him for making that happen. And it was a ton of fun to get to hang out and build the frame that went there. Because it's been a while since we've done a video update, we also wanted to go over some highlights from our forums, both old and new. Um, so here's a quick reel of the cool projects that people have been working on. Gigi's made these awesome puzzle pieces uh, to test the accuracy of his machine, and they came out great, I think. Jay Walter also made this excellent remove before flight tag. You can see that he painted it as well. Sylvain Dorais also uh, created this fantastic 3D uh, seat for a stool, and he highlighted the entire sequence of how he made it, and it came out really beautifully. Ron Lawrence 3 made this laundry sign, and a huge shout out to him for dealing with the most frustrating bug ever. Uh, Bob Craig made a sign for his friend that was based on uh, uh, beer brand that he likes, um, and uploaded a video of it cutting as well. Forums user Brandon McEckern is already getting Marty ready for Mardi Gras with these crocodile props he cut out of cardboard. Nikki D made these awesome uh, dogs engraving, and Jenmer798 also made some signs and furniture. And these two guys, I want to give a shout out for helping each other solve a Fusion 360 issue, which I couldn't figure out. So way to go for them. There's two bugs that we're trying to track down right now. The first one is that um, if the Wi-Fi connection is turned off while the machine is cutting, the ESP32 will crash. And the second one is that it seems like static electricity interferes with communication with the encoders under certain circumstances. Uh, the Wi-Fi stability issue seems to be an issue with the ESP32 S3 chip. Uh, Fluid NC, the project that we based the um, Maslow firmware on, is built around the older ESP32, and we wanted to use the newer ESP32 S3 chip, uh, which is better. It's like five years newer. It's a much better chip. Um, but it means that some of the low-level functions like Wi-Fi um, behave slightly differently. So we're trying to track that bug down. When we discovered that bug, we reported it to the folks at FluidNC, and yesterday they just released a patch which seems to fix it. But we'll need to integrate the patch into our firmware and get everything to play nicely, so hopefully we will have that fixed for you later today or by next week. Um, the second issue we have been seeing is that the encoders are reporting a position error intermittently. This one has been really hard to track down uh, because it happens so infrequently, um, which means that it doesn't, we can't really predict when it's about to happen, but we have some theories as to what's causing it. And we're testing a lot of different scenarios. At first, we couldn't get the encoder issue to happen at all in our office. Uh, but while cutting the signs for open source at AZA B2C's garage, I got the issue. Uh, I was able to get the issue to go away then by reverting to an earlier firmware version, which implies that it's at least partly software related. Uh, I posted that information in the forums and we got confirmation from others that were seeing the issue that earlier firmware version did seem to help. When we spent days and days cutting the same shape over and over again with different firmware versions to try and learn which versions were more susceptible to the issue, we never got the issue once, which was frustra frustrating. Um, we did these tests at the Makerspace, 
uh, because we have seen this encoder issue there before, but it's never happened in our office. One thing that we learned is that the shop vac at the makerspace seems to be able to trigger the issue pretty quickly by running the vacuum and rubbing the hose on the machine while it's cutting. Through process of elimination, it seems that we've tracked the issue down to specifically the shop vac hose. Most dust collectors come with an anti-static hose to prevent this kind of issue, but most shop vacs do not. By swapping the hose on the shop vac at the makerspace for the anti-static hose from our Fest Tool dust collector, we were able to get the issue to go away. To further test this theory, we've ordered an anti-static dust hose from Amazon for our uh, makerspace shop vac. Um, and that should be here tomorrow, so we'll let you know how that goes. If you encounter any bugs, we would love to know about them. Specifically, if you can give an exact set of steps to reproduce the issue, we can't emphasize enough how that's valuable for helping us track down what's going on. Video is even better. With a concrete set of steps to reproduce an issue, we can almost always fix something. But it will take us a few days to even understand the issue, what the issue is otherwise. If you find a bug, please post it in the forums and we'll get on it right away. As you may have noticed, we've been putting all of the Maslow 4 parts in our online store uh, as replacement parts or spare parts, or if you just want to build your own from scratch, you can just get the pieces you need. Um, so those are all up now. We also are now able to take PayPal, which is great. So if you would prefer to pay with PayPal, we are accepting PayPal. Have a great week, everyone, and see you in the forums. That was okay. Yeah. I went, firmware.